Welcome to Any Strike the Edge. I'm your host, Scott Holbrook. With me, as always, co host, uh, the MMA pro UFC Bellator veteran, Noad Neo Lahat. Uh, beside him, we've got Adam Paul Smolak, CEO of Any Strike, uh, as well as a serial entrepreneur, businessman through and through. How are you boys doing tonight? Doing well, Scott. I need to kick somebody in for me. <laughs> and, and that voice was 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 from the man in the seat, uh, rapper extraordinaire. Been in the game for many many years. So tell us all about it. Uh, that would be Mr. Nard Washington. Nard, thanks for joining us. Appreciate y'all for having me. For sure. So uh, I don't fight for free. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um. Well, well, to get started, Nard, why don't you just like like briefly tell the people who you are, tell them how long you've been in the game, how you got started, and you know, kind of what it is that keeps you going. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. like I said, I don't know if it was technical difficulty. Uh, I got in the, I, like I said, I really got in the game. Actually, like really, really, like in two thousand and uh, what's that? Probably like fourteen, two thousand fourteen, and uh. Basically, you know, I, I had to find my, my, my way. And I kind of think I, like, last year, probably, like, you know, about 2016, I kind of caught, caught it. And then I just kept rolling with it, doing videos, dropping albums, little mixtapes and stuff like that. And basically, I'm just trying to put it on for the city, like my people. Yeah, well, so, and so, so when you started, you started out with the intent of, hey, you know, I'm going to do this, I'm to make it big. Um, you know, in the in the music game, or, or was it something you kind of did as a hobby that sort of developed into more? Like, like how did you transition from you know being a fourteen year old, you know, rapping in the you know the alleyways with your boys to to hitting the stage? Shit, because I I was seeing how everybody was getting money doing this shit. Now I, I I was like, it was a lot of whack ass people doing shit, and I'm like, man, how the mm-hmm. fuck they doing this and getting money? And they whack as fuck. So it's like, boom, let me go and try to take my uh, shot at it. And this basically, I mean, I just started doing it and started taking it serious and putting money behind my own self. Ah, so self-investing. You know, as, as an entrepreneur, that's, you know, what do you think about that? Put money behind I yourself. I think that's the way to go. When you got confidence and you got real skill, he's got the skill and will to make it successful. I, I know, uh, we know common folk uh, workhorse uh, is a common friend, and I hear from Workhorse, uh, who is a rapper himself uh, from Jackson, Mississippi, but now stays in the Dallas area, and I hear, um, you know, him put you on a, uh, another level. He talks yeah. about um, the commitment that you have, Nard, and, and how you're so passionate about the game, and you're so creative. Workhorse just talks about you on a whole nother level. And he says, you know, you've got that passion, that work ethic. I know also that you are a tattoo uh, artist and you run a business that way. So you juggle a lot of things. Um, do you think it's just your, 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 your foot's in all that artistry that keeps you going and gives you that, you know, that evolving game? Yeah, most definitely. Like, most definitely. It, 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 most definitely. Like, it's every day. Like it's, it's like a second nature. Yeah, yeah. That's I mean that's kind of comparable to Noad. You can you can speak about that. And as a fighter, do you see the parallel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most definitely. Cause I mean, like, I, it'd be crazy for a person to jump out, like jump in the water. Like, bro, this if you're gonna do it, you might want well to do it all the way. You got to do this shit. Mm-hmm. Like, you're gonna die if you don't. Mm-hmm you know, fight for yourself or fight what you believe in or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, at the end of the day, you're going to be the only one that's in the casket in the end. Like, so nobody going with you. Right. Right. And so so is that – so what is it that keeps you going right now then? So, you know, as, as a kid, you know, 14, everyone, you know, you know, making money, making money. I mean, it wasn't – I mean, I guess it obviously wasn't a smooth journey. Uh, you had setbacks along the way. Like, what was it that you know kind of kept you going through those and the drive? And how did those those experiences that you had kind of kind of shape the artist uh, and businessman uh, that you are today? 
Yeah. Like I said, uh, I was like I, I like I said I did 14 years in prison. So it's like I don't never want to go back to this shit. Like ever, I wouldn't even wish that on my worst enemy. So it's like I gotta I look at other people that been in situations and they they they, they get lost in the south and they never can say back. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I'm not gonna never do that. I'm not gonna I'll I'll be down for a second, but I'm always gonna grind and try to get to it. You know what I'm saying? And then I, I got a brand new baby too, so it's like shit. This is now I know. Oh, congratulations! Okay. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Yeah. No, what do you see as a parallel to to your to on your look? What you mean, like, as far as like, where's your art come from? What emotion? My emotion. What emotion? Yeah. I fight with anger. I like anger. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, me, I, 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 I would say the passion. It's probably because, like the shit I've been through. So I can say, I can say, anger, pain. It's like a lot of that shit. It's like everything, mm-hmm. whatever feeling it is. You know what I'm saying? Because you listen to my music, I ain't out here grabbing by throw that ass and pop that pussy and shit. Right. I'm talking about shit that don't really happen or shit I don't been through, and it's like people know that it's no cap rap shit. They know that I'm really what I'm talking about is what I, you know, what I'm saying it's something I don't been through. Right. So, so in in listening to your music too, though, I you know there's a, there's another thing that I notice. Uh, maybe you can speak on this a bit. Um, and that would be, uh, you know, loyalty. Like I listened to the uh, to the joint you had with uh, with Yellow Beezy. Um, You know, my, my personal favorite is, um, you know, they don't know. Uh, we we're talking about, you know, friends, foes, wolves, and sheep's clothing, and whatnot. Uh, so it seems yeah. that loyalty is a, you know, a, a big part of, of who you are and the message you're putting out. Like, can you speak to, you know, how how do you see loyalty, um, you know, as you know, as a warrior, you know, as being in the game, as you know, this mindset that you have. Like, where, where does loyalty play into uh, to what you do, every every time, loyalty like I mean you can't beat that, and it's so crazy because a lot of people don't got this shit, and that's why I speak on it. You know what I'm saying? I speak on it because I've been fucked over, betrayed. I don't cry about it, but I wanted to let it be known that if you fucking with me, then that's you got to understand that you got to have some. You gotta have some kind of loyalty to a relationship or fucking with me or however it is. You know what I'm saying? And I guess that's kind of what comes out of a lot of my music. So, uh, and you you really kind of enlighten me too, because really that's what I rap about most. <laughs> no, I feel I definitely see that. Um... And so, so how how do you, I guess, you know, outside of of the business, you're doing a lot of things. You're doing the tattoos. Uh, you're doing you're doing the music. You had a baby on the way. Like, what about? It's about nard time. Like, what like what do you do? How do you? you know, how do you keep like yourself? I barely got any nard time, bro. Like, I swear to God, like. Only time I got is a strip club time. That's my time. <laughs> I bad. swear, bro. It like it's, I don't, I don't have no Nora time. Like literally, I don't. I, I feel like my Nora time is me doing what I'm doing on the day. But, but that makes you, that makes you lit. I mean, that's what makes you constantly out there, uh, able to create. I think that's mm-hmm. that. You know, you're just buzzing, and and that's as an entrepreneur. Or as a fighter, Noad, you can speak to this. It's it, it comes down to, uh, um, you know, having that constant passion, and yeah. you know, uh, I think that that you're you're just you're just going from from that's what I alluded to before, from the tattoos to artistry to putting on events for the community. You're just you're just on fire, uh, and that's that, that. I mean, a rapper is interesting in the position that you play. Because it's a community leader, you have very important messages to put out there at the same time, you have a business to run. 
And you touched on something I want to go back to, which is loyalty. Now, loyalty is important. I think also in our careers here, loyalty is very important as an entrepreneur. I know uh, loyalty in your team is most important. People don't steal your ideas. People have the same thinking as you. Being able to make something commercially acceptable or successful from an idea, you need a you need a strong team. And I'm sure, yeah, uh, Mr. Mr. Lott, you have the same idea as a fighter. You you have like he's he's about to go to a weight cut tonight for a fighter that's going to be fighting on Saturday night, and he's there for his teammate. He supports his teammate, and as a paratrooper, I'm sure you have the, you have something to say about that as well, sir. Am I right? Yes, sir. I mean, you got to. It's all, it go back to uh, when you was a kid and they tell you treat others like you want to be treated. Mm. That's I mean that's probably one of the wisest things I've ever like. That's one thing I always remember. And uh, they come with your team because like you gotta you can't you can't be a, the big eye. You know what I'm saying? And mm. it's like you gotta humble yourself. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's how you. I feel like that's how you have a team like people that support you or uh, whatever's going on. <laughs> that you're doing in your life or whatever like that. And if you can't give them the same support back, even though you might be in a, 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 a higher position, I mean, you don't know how much that means to people. So I, I always try to make myself available mm. to be able to help a person out or support or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Even though I got a fucked up ass, crazy ass schedule, I always try to be there and that's why I get the respect that I get wherever I go. Right. Yeah, right. Showing up and, and putting down. <laughs> yeah. what, what, what you drinking? Oh, I'm drinking a beer. Sorry, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. Um, so... Hmm. So any any other any other businesses I guess that you got you know on, on the horizon like what's, um, well like, like like what's next I guess so you know the, the music game is is going well for you very well, uh, you've been doing tattoos for a while. Is there anything else that, that's coming out that we should be looking out for? Uh, no, just a whole bunch of visuals, like a whole bunch of videos, and that's it. Really, I ain't really focused on nothing but just trying to push push the. Uh, the music's real tough right now. Well, what's what's the most difficult part of that game, Nard, from the standpoint of pushing the music out? Uh, where's the challenges, and how are you uh, how are you meeting those challenges? I mean, basically, man. I mean, like if you if you're doing it yourself, you you know you gotta depend on yourself. You got to get your own money. You got to invest in yourself. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you got to do that and you got to get everybody to be on the same accord. It's just, and like doing videos, that should be hard as shit. Because like, if you don't got everybody together, you got to call this person and wait. So it's it's, it's, a, it's a process. That's probably the not. most challenging part. You know, just doing the visuals and stuff like that. Hey. What's the chip on your shoulder? Right? You got a chip on the shoulder. Everybody who create and work a lot, guy. What's yours? What's your shoulder? What's your chip on your shoulder? Said, What's making you? I, I, man. I got, a, I, got a, I got a lot of chips on my shoulder. <laughs> uh, uh, the main one is that, I, like I say, I... Basically, man, I, man, I, like I said, I went to prison when I was a fucking teenager, and I, and I didn't see no twenties. So it was like I owe myself to do the best I can do with this shit. Nice. And I, I and it made me, and it made me to the point to like I, I don't have no kind of tolerance for bullshit. Mm. Mm. Like chase. Me too. Me too. That's damn right. When you when you when you struggle and you deal with many things, you 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 you, 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 you just don't give a fuck about wasting time, I man. I, I don't, bro. I swear to God, I don't. And like, mm. I'm the I'm the nicest person in the world. 
girl, but don't fuck with me while I'm trying to do the fuck I'm trying to do. I heard that. I've been right. told that. <laughs> A lot of people feel that. So what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's 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 next? Like, where do you? What, like, I guess, what's the next level you're getting to? Um, like, like, have you have you conquered Dallas? Like, where? What, what is the next for you in the music career? Like, what do you yeah, say? Oh, I'm most definitely finna start uh, traveling, going to different cities, and you know, uh, connecting with DJs. Cause like Dallas, I mean, uh, hey, I'm, I mean, damn, everybody know me, and so I gotta go everywhere. Like I say, once the, the uh, this COVID shit kind of uh, ease up, and then boom, we on the road. So, most so you see, be doing. I'm sorry. Do you see this new album being your uh, your national push out? Uh, you you uh, just dropped. Uh, no, you know what? I've been I've been here for like. I feel like this album I just dropped. It's it's a, a introduction. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Basically, you know what I'm saying. Like I I kind of like I said earlier, I had to find my way, and I I feel like this is the introduction to me. So, how long have you been out of prison for? Seven years. So it's given you a cycle of reflection, and now you're at a, a level of commercial plat. You have a platform, so you're really so, you you've got you're at the point where, you know, you don't just have the raw emotion, uh, and and the artistry it's come together, but you have, you you, you have kind of everything put together in your head, and you're you're, you're operating now. You're ready to make that yeah. big push. Yes, sir. Oh, man. So, so did, did your time, um, or how did your time, I guess, prepare you um, while, while you were in prison? Um, you, you, I guess, while you're there, you knew you were going to come out and, and, and do the rap game. Like, what, what did you do? You know, while while locked man, up, to prepare yourself for success now. Yeah, man, I, I, I just knew what I was going to do, bro. Like, I knew I fucked up, and I knew that I couldn't the shit that like I couldn't get that time back. So, I basically just I worked on my craft, you know what I'm saying, and just kept my, you know, I just stay focused on it, bro. And like every day, that's what kept that's what kept me going in there. And uh, it was the amazing thing about it was like I know I'm gonna get out to this bitch one day, and I'm gonna really be able to do this shit that I want to do. And like now, like I'm I'm doing it. Not you know not to to the biggest point I want it to be, but I'm doing it though. I love it. Love to hear that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, so, so, so seven years, you've been in the game basically for only seven years, actually. Um, how, it, what about the tattoos? Did you learn the tattoos there as well? Like, I'm really interested in how you kind of yeah. see the, the difference between uh, between those two things, I mean, they're both in the art world, but they're, they're different forms of art. Um, you, you seem very passionate about both of them. They're both uh, making you money right now. And so, how yeah. how do you relate those things yourself? Like, like, how did you know one come to the other? Do they inform each other? Do, um, do you take inspiration from each one to the other? Like, how do you how do you play those two you know businesses and arts together? It's crazy because like I always knew how to draw. So uh, when I got locked up. I start, you know, I was always into tattoos and shit. I'm like, I'm gonna learn how to do this shit. So I taught myself how to do it by letting everybody practice on me and tat on me and shit. And uh, and the, the 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 best thing about the tattoo shit is like, bro, that's what really kind of gave me a boost in the game because everybody wants tattoos. So the features and shit like that, and me just knowing people just through tattoos, like I then get what I want. So you know we'll swap business out of how it go, and that's really basically how it, it, it worked together in my favor. All right. And so, who who are you? Have you done like tasks for anyone, like any any other celebrities, you know, like yourself, or are you mainly you know, oh, for yeah. the Like who are you? Who are you tatting up? Oh, uh, I did a whole bunch of see. I I can't even remember everybody, but the most notable. Uh, I did uh, all the yellow beaver tattoos. I did all this shit. Uh, 
the CJ Casinos, Oyeos, uh, Dez Bryant. I mean, it's a lot of people. I I go down the list. Yeah. Wow, you're really on on, on a multiple fronts. You know, as an entrepreneur, I have much respect for that. To hear you being able to operate and build brand, I think it's the consistency, though. You know, and Mr. Lahat can speak to that too. You know, what 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 I'm hearing is anger, and I have a lot of anger too. Um, you know, as a Jewish kid growing up with no other Jewish kids in my classroom, I used to fight. Uh, yeah. And I went to, uh, you know, I was small. Uh, so I was, uh, you know, always pissed off and wanting to, uh, you know, to prove my worth uh, because, yeah. you know, people bigger picking on me. And so for me, uh, and I always took it out as wanting reputation. I had ambition. I thought I was yeah. smarter and I'm going to make more money and I'm going to control. And I, yeah. you know, continued along that path. It, that anger drove me. Um, and I think, you know, anger drives you. And, and. You know, for me, it's it's just interesting to hear in such a short time, seven years, how you've taken that emotion and you've uh, you've put it into a six, successful uh, career in, in, in music, which is hard enough, man. There's a lot of people doing their thing uh, and are who great, but can't don't have the right vibe to make it commercially it's acceptable and can't get respect. And at the same exactly. time, you're doing artistry on tattoos. And it sounds like you're going to have a merchandise business and you're going to have a lot of other things going on because you have a lot of network and reputation. So for me, yes. it's incredible how fast it's been and how blessed you are here. I appreciate it. I thank God. What's your style? What's your What's your tattoos? What's my tattoos? Style. What's his style? Oh, uh, see, uh, really black and gray. This black and gray, like I really like doing like black and gray big pieces. Like I don't like I don't even do small tattoos. So you like like, like sleeves yeah. and and like full, you know, full body art. Mm. Yeah, that type of shit. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Very cool. So, okay. so you see yourself and all of these businesses going forward. But like, like when, whenever the music, you know, you know, if one takes off, would one take it in their back seat? Uh, so, for example, you know, you explode nationally, you know, with the music. What, what happens to the tattoos? You find a way to do them both. Do you do you focus on what's working at the time? Like where, you know, where would you be in that situation? Oh, I mean, if if, if that happened, I mean, if that happened, and then uh, like I said, I, I have a, I have the business still open. I just open the shop, you know, in a, in a, you know more prestigious type way, you know what I'm saying? Have me or uh, artists working for me. But I probably mm -hmm. wouldn't tattoo like that. Most likely I wouldn't. Uh, what is the most painful to do tattoo? What area? Shit. Probably uh probably my head. <laughs> Ow. You said you your Ow. head? I got a yeah, I got a big Medusa on my head. Oh man! <laughs> well, so so when when you get when you get a new tattoo, um, I, I guess tattoos are just like like I have no tattoos. I, it's not, I don't lie. I got I got three tattoos, um, but they you know, they came for a, you know a very special reason. Um, and so you know for like for me to get you know a, a tattoo, it'd have to be you know, almost like a life or death thing. Like you get tattoos, are they all? You know, super meaningful to get tattoos um, just because you think the artwork is nice. Like, like, what is it that you know when you say you need a new tattoo? Like, like, why is it that you need that new tattoo? Man, it's all kind of reasons, bro. I mean, it's all kind of you might just get an itch one day and say, "I want a fucking tattoo," and just, just go get one. Or you might ask about the past. Well, it just however the person feels. Right. Symbolic. Right. Right. See, I've always, I've always wanted to be. Uh, I've always looked at the idea of having nothing liquid. I don't want any marks on my body. I don't want anything to identify me, and I don't want uh, anything to be tracked. So for me, I don't want to. I don't want a tattoo. And I haven't. That, that's not an area that interests me. 
And two, as an obsessive Jew, I think it's hard for me to decide what I want. I think it would have to be something extremely meaningful. And I haven't come to that bridge yet. But yeah, I see it. Yeah, you know, to each their own, you know. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. I already said, right, I mean, cool. shit, I, I thought about it, I was like, hey, I already stand out as just being me anyway, without the tattoos, right. so what's the fucking difference? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, they're going to look at me like they want to look at me anyway, so, hey, what's the difference? Well, you're what's a good-looking good motherfucker. <laughs> See, for me, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I got no hope anyway, so, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, well, you know, Nard, is, is there anything you'd like to, you'd like to end with, you'd like to say anything you'd like to promote, talk about your new album, talk about your clothing lines, anything that you'd like to, you'd like to say to, to viewers out there to, to let them, yeah, you know, this support you? Like, how, can they, how can they find you, your YouTube? Yeah, you can, uh, my YouTube, uh, channel is, uh, Nard214, and that's all my videos and everything on there, like, all the, New shit, everything on there, and like I say, the uh, that, that'll direct you to everything. Uh, the new album is on uh, on my uh, page and everything. But basically, man, just go check it out and give me some feedback. All right, and and is there a, a particular song that you would recommend people start out with? Like, if you had to, you know, listen to this song first, and you really get me, what song would that be? Oh. Uh, Probably would be uh no love. No love. Yes, sir. All right. Well, Mr. Nard, want to thank you for your time. Thank you for show- coming up on the show. Thanks for you know sharing your experiences with us. Um, keep doing the you know the great work that you're already doing. Uh, community leader, uh, tattoo artist, yeah. rapper, you know warrior in in every sense of the word. And uh, we hope to have you back sometime. Okay, that's cool, bro.